It's come the day and you've decided you want to go out and buy a sprayer, you want to get into lawn care, pest control, or any type of spraying business. And you've never owned a sprayer, or maybe you've owned a sprayer in the past. There's some things you should know and put down on a piece of paper before you go out to buy your sprayer to make sure you make the proper purchase to meet the needs that you've got. First off, make sure you understand what you're going to be spraying, what your application rates are, how high you need to spray, or all the, all the parameters of what you need to do when you're spraying. And the next thing you want to make sure of is make sure you tell whoever you're buying the sprayer from what size of vehicle you have to carry this sprayer. Because water weighs about 8.3 something pounds per gallon. So when you buy a 200 gallon sprayer, you've got, by the time you put the whole package together, you're close to 2,000 pounds. And each 100 gallon that you add to that adds about 850 or 900 pounds to the load. So you can't put a 400 gallon tank in a half ton pickup. So make sure you understand the vehicle that you're going to be using before you go out and make that purchase. The next thing when you do this, make sure that if you need to spray 10 yards a day or whatever that you've got enough gallonage in your tank that you can cover that amount. If you're going to be applying 3 gallons per thousand, calculate how many thousand feet you're going to be doing, how many gallons you need to do it, make sure the tank will do that. You'll know how many refills you'll have to do during a day. Those are critical when you go to buy your first sprayer or your second sprayer or whatever. So make sure that you know those parameters. Now, you go out and you look at a tank, you look at an engine and a pump. If you're going to be spraying about three gallon a minute, an eight to nine gallon per minute pump's all you need. If you're going to be trying to spray 10 or 15 gallons per minute, you need a bigger pump, obviously. If you're going to do two hose reels off a unit, make sure you know how many gallons per minute are going to each hose reel Match it up with a pump to make sure you've got a pump that's large enough with about 20 to 30 percent reserve to do what you're doing. The other thing you need to understand is when someone tries to sell you a sprayer, you want to take the gallons per minute of the unit and the pressure that the pump can spray and make sure you use a simple formula that usually comes out on our website or you can find in any engineering handbook. And if you want it, call us on our 800 number. We'll help you. But the engine needs to match up to the horsepower requirements of your pump. Because if you get too small an engine, it's like buying an 18-wheel truck and putting a four-cylinder Chevrolet engine in it. It might pull it one day, but it won't pull it very long. Make sure they're matched. That's very critical when you buy something. The other thing you want to look at, and it doesn't make any difference whether it's our unit, someone else's unit, diaphragm pump, piston pump, they're all the same from a fluid standpoint. Suction line. Look at your suction line. You got a 10 gallon a minute pump. You want to make sure that you've got a minimum of a one inch suction line on it. And when they say one inch, they mean one inch. It doesn't mean you come up to the filter and reduce it down to a three quarter inch filter. You've got to have one inch from the tank to the pump. That's absolutely necessary to have any life out of the pump system. Next thing is, when you get ready to do this, you're going to be buying hose on a hose reel. Most of these pumps that we're looking at today here are about 8 to 10 gallon a minute up to four or 500 pounds of pressure. When you put the hose on a hose reel, a lot of guys want to buy 3 8 hose because it's lighter and easier to pull. But you have to remember that when you put 3 8 hose on a sprayer, it's going to take about two to three times as much pressure to push the same amount of liquid through that hose as it does with a half inch hose. So in other words, if you're using 50 PSI at your gun, at spraying, you're probably going to need close to 200 pounds of pressure or more back at the pump to get through 3 8 hose, 300 foot of 3 8 hose. If you had half inch hose, you could probably do it with 100 to 125 PSI. There's a chart that you can get, ask your dealer, or call us, we can give you to match your hose up to make sure that it gives you the best performance of what pump you've got.